Number 14. Assuming that no equilibria other than dissolution are involved, calculate the molar solubility of each of the following from its solubility product. And then we have Ag2SO4. So we have to find out what the molar solubility is of Ag2SO4, uh, silver sulfate, from its solubility product. And remember, a solubility product is just a KSP, right? SP, solubility product. So I went in the back of a textbook to find out what the KSP of Ag2SO4 is, 1.2 times 10 to the negative fifth. Uh, but what is a KSP without a balanced equation? It's nothing. So we have to write the balanced equation for what's going to happen when Ag2SO4 disassociates, right, into its ions. Now, if it's going to do that, it starts off as a solid, and all KSP uh, ionic compounds that you start with, those are always going to be solids. So we have Ag2SO4, that's a solid, goes into equilibrium, because we're dealing with K values, into, well, where's the break? Well, I, I've seen SO4 time and time again throughout this whole chemistry course, right? So polyatomics always stick together. So the break has to be between this silver and the SO4. So I have Ag plus SO4. But then the thing is, what are those ions if it's going to dissociate, right? It's got to have a charge. Well, you can use your, um, you can use your crisscross method or you can go by memorizing, right? Since we're all the way in chapter 15, there's always going to be things that we have to kind of memorize or remember from the beginning of chem. Ag is a transition metal that always has a plus one charge, right? So I'm going to just say that Ag is a plus one. And the sulfate, polyatomic, that always has a negative two charge. And since I wrote down the charges, they're aqueous, AQAQ, and now we just have to make sure that it's balanced. Well, there's two AGs, so I have to put a two in front of here, but one SO4, one SO4, so we're balanced. So I'm going to put this to the side, and now I'm going to use this to find out what the formula for the KSP is for this problem. Well, the general formula for KSP is this, right? It's just equal to the concentration of the products raised to the coefficients. No reactants, because remember, no solids allowed in any K expression. So for this one, we got KSP equals to the concentration of the two products, Ag plus and SO4, two minus. But now just be careful, we have to raise it to the coefficients. So I go back to the balanced equation and I say, okay, there was one, actually, no, just kidding. There was two AGs, so I know that I have to raise the AG value to the second power. But since there was only one SO4, I don't have to raise that. Anything raised to the first is itself. Now, I know the KSP value is 1.2 times 10 to the negative fifth, but they didn't tell us any values for AG and SO4, so we have to put them in for variables. Going back to the balanced equation, I say, okay, I don't know how much Ag2 uh, plus 1 I have at equilibrium, so I'll label it as x. But it just has to match with the coefficient. I can't just say x. I have to say that this would be 2x. Hold on. Let me just do that a little bit again. Okay. There you go. And the same thing goes for the SO4, two, you know, 2 minus. I'll label it as x, but it just has to match with the coefficient. But 1 times x is the same as x, so I'll just leave it as x. And now these are the two numbers that go in my equation. So Ag is going to be 2x, and SO4 is going to just be x. Okay, let's go for it. 1.2 times 10 to the negative fifth equals... I have 2x. That one has to be squared times x. Let's figure out what 2x squared is. Remember, squaring just means that you have two of the same thing multiplied by each other. So in this case, you have 2x times 2x. You have two 2x values. 
And if we just do that, multiply the numbers first, 2 times 2 is 4, x times x is x to the second. So I'm just going to erase this first part and say that that is the same as 4x to the second. Drag along the other x value. I have 1x, I'm combining it with 2x's, so I have a total of 3x's. So 1.2 times 10 to the negative fifth equals 4x cubed, and now we're just back to algebra. Divide by 4, we want to get x by itself. So calc is out. 1.2 times 10 to the negative, yeah, 10 to the negative fifth divided by, oh boy, divided by, divided by 4 is 3 times 10 to the negative 6, and that equals x cubed. So you can do the cubed root, that's the inverse of cubing, or the same thing is just flipping this exponent. Remember, this is 3 over 1. So if I raise this whole thing to the 1 over 3, this will cancel, and you're just left with x. Me personally, that's what I like to use, um, but you can use whichever method you want. Just make sure that you get the right answer, obviously. So now I'm just going to put maybe the x equals over here. So this raised to the one third, and I guess two sig figs, 0 0.014 molarity. Now remember, the molar solubility is always for the initial solid. It is not for the ions. So they're asking for the molar solubility of the Ag2 SO4, but here you can use your ratios. In your KSP expression, there's always going to be one of your solid. So you could treat this answer as like a 1x. So basically, if you're doing this problem, the x value is always the molar solubility. So this would be 0 0.014 molarity of the Ag2SO4. And that is it, my friends. Okay. Um, yeah, I really hope that this helped you out. Let me know in the comments. Subscribe to the channel. Uh, and tell your friends, tell your classmates that this channel exists. It helps out the channel in the YouTube universe. And I hope I'm giving you great educational content. My brother and I, we appreciate you all. Thank you so much. And I'll be talking to you in later lessons. Okay, bye-bye.